Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So this is a 2025 Science GCE. So if you're watching for the first time, please remember to support, subscribe and like the video. So this is section C where we're going to look at um, uh, this question as in C3. So now this is about organic chemistry and make sure that uh, you have some understanding about organic chemistry. So the question says, use the displayed structure shown to answer questions that follow. So you have this displayed structure. The first question is, name the organic compound shown. So this is just uh, one mark. So what are you supposed to do? So how do you know that this is such a kind of um, organic compound okay so this is um, okay so now what you're supposed to do is when you look at the structure it has a double bond between the carbon and oxygen and also there is um, the, the O and H so this part okay in short, uh, just to help you understand. And we have the double bond there. Okay. So now what you need to know is that this part, okay, is actually what we call a, a carboxy group, okay? This is what you call a carboxy group. So this is what will help you to know the name of this compound. And how do you know that? So we have now two carbons. So something with two carbons, this is uh, going to just be ethanoic acid, okay? It is going to be ethanoic. So it is ethanoic acid, okay? So you can check out my videos on uh, organic chemistry and carboxylic acid. That is going to help you understand. And then now they're saying two. So two is saying to which homologous series does it belong? So they're saying to which class of organic compound does this, you know, compound belongs to? So this is just a... Uh, Carbo, carboxylic, okay, carboxylic, just carboxylic um, acid, okay, and then number uh, B, so we are done with A, so B is saying, ethanol is an organic compound which belongs to a monogas series known as alcohols, so draw a displayed structure for Structural formula of ethanol. Okay, so we are now on um, B. Okay, so B1. So for you to draw the structure, there is a first of all the general molecular formula that you need to know. So it is C1 H2N uh, plus 1 and then OH. Okay, so this is the formula. Now, N means the number of carbon. Now, ETH, okay, when you're talking about ETH, meaning the number of carbon, just 2. So where there is N, you just put 2. So it's going to be C2, H2, 2, plus 1, or H. So this is uh, the bracket. Then this is going to be C2, 2 times 2, that's going to be H, um, 2 times 2 is 4, plus this one, that's going to be 5, okay? And we have, this is what we call a functional group, and then you add that one, then it is in C, H, C2, H5, or H. So this is in the formula. Now, the question says, you have to draw, okay? You have to draw this one. So how do you draw? You have two carbons. So carbon one, 
carbon too. So now the, the, the other thing that you need to understand also is that hmm, this is coming from alcohol, so the, the bond between the carbon to carbon just a single bond. And then you surround, each carbon should have four uh, these uh, bonds or strings. Okay, so and then you put now. Now we have OH, so we have one, two, three, four, five. And then the other thing is on this one, you just put now that. So this is the structure that they wanted, okay? And then they are saying, what term is used to describe the manufacture of ethanol from ethene? So the manufacture of ethanol from ethene, okay? So what are they saying? The manufacture of, that is a B2. Okay, so this is going to be... So the manufacture of ethanol from ethene is just called I just called hydration, okay? So hydration is something to do with water, okay? So meaning ethene, so if you have this ethene plus what? H2O we are going to get in ethanol, okay? We are going to get in ethanol. So that is the most important thing. So I will, I will not, I don't want to confuse you. I just want to write in word form, okay? In word form. So the other question is now, the other question is, uh, butyl propanoid is an ester that is on C, Name two reagents used to form it. So we are not talking about um, esters, okay? You have two reactants or reagents that are involved. So this butyl, so this is now C. So when you have this butyl and um, something like Proper, okay, propanoid, okay, so what this means, propanoid. Now, this is the name of the Easter, and this is also uh, coming from, um, coming, um, it's um, not really and, okay, so this is one word, okay, butyl propanoid. So, this butyl is coming from an alcohol okay it's coming from an alcohol and this one is coming from an acid or rather this is um what can i say this is a uh, an acid okay carboxylic acid okay so now name two reagents so for you to name the two reagents this is going to be This is going to be butano and what? Propanoic acid. Since it's coming from an acid, so it's going to be pro propanoic. Okay. Propanoic acid. Okay. So these are the two reagents to form this ester. This ester, okay. So you just combine this one, butyl, propanoic acid. So if you want to find out more about this, then I encourage you to follow my channel and make sure that you subscribe because I've already actually explained the uh, for you to understand the acid and everything uh, on my YouTube channel, okay? Okay, so now we have this one. I describe the chemical test for the minor byproduct of esterification. Okay. So on this one, what are we saying? So a chemical test for ester. How do you know that an ester has been produced? Okay. So this was uh, one. This was one. This was two. 
Okay. So first of all, you get um, you get an address. Okay. Mm, an address. Okay. An address. Uh, copper. Copper to sulfate. Okay. Copper to sulfate. Okay. Now you have to understand that um, one of the other product of esters is that they produce what? They produce water. Okay. They produce water. So once they produce water, you get this anhydrous. So you're going to say by by adding this anhydrous, okay. So an address copper copper to sulfate copper to sulfate to the H2O okay to the H2O okay now if H2O is present this will will turn you turn the anhydrous so this will turn an address copper to sulfate so this will turn an address copper to sulfate to to blue okay so this will change to blue okay and also understand that uh, an address copper to sulfate is a, is a white thing okay so it will change to blue. That is going to change to blue. Okay. So that is a chemical test you can cut out. And now second from the last question. I state two uses of esters. So what are some of the uses? So the first one is in, um, used in a um, so flavors in in baking okay so flavors in baking and the second one is um used in okay so used in uh, soaps okay or even just the uh, shampoo so it is also used in shampoo okay so used in soaps shampoos and also flavors in baking okay now the last question is um, meaning this is supposed to be uh, D1 So now D2 is give one similarity between esterification and neutralization. So you can just say so in both in both um, in both reaction both reaction comma H2O is is produced so in both reaction h2o is produced so thank you so much for watching remember to support subscribe and like the video